But first, Steubenville is the latest city in the Ohio Valley to discuss finding solutions and homes for those living on its streets. Thanks for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Bailey Martin. And I'm Michelle Chavez. 7 News reporter Colin Roos found out why many from out of town are arriving in the city and why it's a trend that's expanding across the nation. Often repeated story. A patient comes into a center for addiction, completes their treatment, and is left homeless when their family doesn't want them back. It's a human tragedy that Steubenville is seeing over and over again, including here at the Washington Street Bridge. It's a crisis in need of a fast resolution with no easy answers. At this week's city council meeting, Steubenville's leaders spoke on the city's increasing homeless population just as the cold weather sets in. For city manager James Mavermatis, the squeeze of a high cost of living and chemical dependency explain why many find themselves with nowhere to turn and nowhere to call home. Those are very difficult things to bounce from, and if you don't have a support group behind you, you have to rely on what public can do, city, uh, cities can do. Whether at abandoned buildings or lean-tos, reports have come in from residents across the 11 square mile city. He says the response often requires several different municipal resources, recently here at the walkway between 6th and 7th streets. Involve two components of our city, the police department as well as our uh, sanitation department. Why? Because we had to clean the mess that was there of things that were just left there. Mm -hmm. Why the police? Because sometimes some of these individuals are actually, they have outstanding warrants. Mavermatis says Steubenville has to look at the issue from two angles, what it can do legally for its citizens and socially for those who struggle. Its status as the seat of Jefferson County means those from outside areas come here specifically for its shelters and centers like the CAC, which he sees as a credit to the county's proactive support. We get them the treatment if they need it, or we get them lodgings, temporary lodging. And if it wasn't for those facilities that were here, it would be very difficult. Mavermatis says the city's homeless population is much smaller than that of Pittsburgh just down the highway, but it's something every population center will begin to see as job loss, inflation, and addiction hang heavy over Americans. Reporting in Steubenville, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thanks, Colin. Our other